We're bringing you something really special this week. But first, you probably know LeVar Burton as the host of Reading Rainbow, or from playing Geordi LaForge in Star Trek. Well, he just launched a new children's podcast called Sound Detectives. Sound Detectives is a funny and engaging podcast that invites kids to explore the magic and mystery of sound. In Sound Detectives, across the globe, sounds are mysteriously going missing. Waves aren't crashing, crickets aren't chirping, and the familiar jingle of the ice cream truck is a distant memory. Follow Detective Hunch and his new sidekick, Audie the Ear, as they solve sound mysteries and track down the nefarious sound swindler, all with a little help from LeVar Burton himself. Sound Detectives is a podcast that both you and your children will enjoy. So now we have a special clip of Sound Detectives for you today. And if you like what you're hearing, you can listen to Sound Detectives on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hi, it's LeVar Burton, and I've got a brand new podcast called Sound Detectives. It's a fun-filled comedy adventure about the magic and mystery of sound. In this world, sounds have mysteriously gone missing. Follow Detective Hunch and his sidekick, Audie the Ear, as they track them down and find the nefarious sound swindler. All with a little help from me, LeVar Burton. Would you like to hear a clip? Thought you'd never ask. It started off like any other day. The birds were chirping, the wind was whistling, and the tick-tock of the clock in my office was tick-tocking. I fed my pet gerbil. Hey there, Betty. I sat back in my old creaky chair, and then suddenly, silence. I got up, but my creaky chair wasn't creaking. My gerbil stopped squeaking, and as I came to discover, It wasn't just my office. Sounds had gone missing everywhere. This was the beginning of the greatest case of my career. Wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. Hunch is the name. You can call me Detective Hunch. I'm a private eye. I look, I inspect, I investigate, and I've cracked some of the hardest cases in the game. If you hear a bump in the night, it's me you call. Empty ice cream carton? I'll find out who done it. Case of the missing sock? I'm the person for the job. When the sounds went missing, at first, I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe I was just imagining things. But when my toaster oven didn't ding and I burnt my toast, well, (laughs) then it was personal. I love my toast. Don't we all? I flipped on the TV, and luckily the sound on that still worked. We've got some breaking news. Sounds are disappearing across the country. We've received reports that farmers are watching cows open their mouths, but they aren't hearing the moos. Cow moos have disappeared. Okay, and I'm being told now car horns won't honk, gerbils aren't squeaking, and many musical instruments have gone silent. Soon, the news was sharing reports from around the world. This just in. Panic erupts as lavatory patrons jiggle toilet handles, realizing they cannot hear them flush. Who's responsible? Well, they're calling this person the sound swindler. The sound swindler. The sound swindler. The sound swindler. Sound swindler. Llamaban al sospechoso el sound swindler. So now we had a mystery and a world thrown into chaos. Who was this villain, this sound swindler? The phone rang. This is Hunch. Detective Hunch, your reputation precedes you. Thank you, and you are? LeVar, LeVar Burton. I take it you've heard the news? Sounds have gone missing. Yes, I've been monitoring the situation. I come to you with a plea for help, Detective. In two months' time, I'll be unveiling my latest endeavor, 
the first of its kind, an immersive auditory experience, a feast for the ears, the Museum of Sound. You get where I'm going with this, don't you? Sure, sure. How can there be a museum of sound if there aren't any sounds? Exactly! You've had a long, storied career, Detective. Decorated and honored in six countries. Seven, but uh, who's counting? Well, I'm counting. On you, Detective. I've sunk every last penny into the Museum of Sound. It's my love letter to the people, places, and things that make up our collective story. So it's absolutely crucial that these sounds are restored. And it's not just my museum that's at stake. Imagine a world without the swift rip of wrapping paper as you tear open a gift. The sizzle of bacon as it meets a hot pan. Or the delicate mew of a tiny kitten. Oh, no. These are the sounds that make up our world, detective. I need them returned, and I need you. To take the case. Every detective in the world is going to want to take this case to try and find these missing sounds and stop the sound swindler. Why me? Those other detectives don't have your intuition and knack for problem solving. You're the best there is. <laughs> you flatter me, LeVar. But I, I... Nor do those other detectives have the resources I can offer. Resources? You've got my attention. On your desk, there is a box containing several of the missing sounds. Wait, how? How did you get a box into my office? And also, how do you get sounds in a box? Well, let's just say it's far easier to find the missing sounds than it is to return them. Now, wait a minute. How do you return a sound? Well, 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 that's where you come in. Okay. I gave the sounds in the box a listen, but I can't make out what they are. I need your top-notch detective skills to identify the sounds, figure out where they came from, and to return them to their rightful owners. What do you say, Hunch? Are you in? Well, I'm not. I'm not out. Excellent. Thank you for taking the case. Oh, and one last thing. I'm sending along my most trusted companion to assist you. I actually prefer to work alone. You see, I'm kind of solitary, like a tortoise or like a whale shark. I don't normally travel in a group, you see. It's, it's usually just me. I'm kind of like a lone wolf, which is the opposite of a regular wolf. She should be there any minute. Uh, I'm sorry, I've got to get the door. Could you just hang on for a second? No need. That will be Audie. She'll explain the rest. I'll speak with you again uh, soon. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, who is Audie? I'm coming. I'm coming. Just, uh, Lavar. <sighs> uh, hello? There's... No one here. Oh, uh, uh, down here. Uh, oh, my, my Hi. goodness. Hi, detective. S- s- someone left this here. I, I don't... Oh, no, it's me, Audie. I'm, a, I'm an ear. An ear? Oh, um, <clears throat> okay. Well, he- hello, a human ear. Yeah, I mean, you're a private eye, aren't you? <laughs> I thought you'd be used to this kind of thing. Okay, let's let's not joke. Uh, private eye is a figure of speech, uh-huh. and you are you're a literal human ear. Yep, a and... three-foot, five-inch tall, walking, talking human ear. And you're talking. I'm and talking. Walking. Arms and, walking. and legs. Mm-hmm. Okay, fascinating. Uh, okay, I've got a few questions. And you probably have a few questions yourself about how Hunch and Audie are going to return these mystery sounds and save the world from silence. So... To hear more, listen to Sound Detectives on SiriusXM, Pandora, or wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget to follow the show so you never miss an episode. Sound good to you? Sounds great to me. Continue following Detective Hunch and Audie the Ear as they solve sound mysteries by listening to Sound Detectives. Sound Detectives is out now. Listen on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And don't forget to follow Sound Detectives so you don't miss an episode.